Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us again on our focus for today. Um, thank you just for um, giving time to think of the things of God because we need them today. Thank you for the word of God that we have uh, to focus on and whatever you're doing today. I trust that you'll, uh, you'll, you'll look at this and you'll listen to what we have to say and hopefully it'll be an encouragement to you. I want us to look just for a moment or think this morning of something uh, that came to me uh, very much this past week and it's Matthew chapter 26 and that portion whenever Jesus was in the garden of, of Gethsemane. And verse 39 in particular, I want us just to think about this morning. And he says, And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as I will. Here is this verse we find Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. The Lord Jesus is at a crossroads in his journey through life. I want to focus on that word, nevertheless. It's something maybe for you to think about today. Because at this crossroads we realize that he said in this verse, O oh my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. He knew what was coming. He knew what the cross was going to mean to him. He knew the suffering that he was going to have to go through. And even though we have to go through suffering today and things that are around us, we have to go through change and it's difficult for us. We have to concentrate on what Jesus had that day or how he felt on the Garden of Gethsemane. But then he used this word, nevertheless, even though he knew the difficulties that was before him, even though he knew that these were going to be hard days ahead, even though he knew he was going to have the nails in his hands and in his feet, he knew that he was going to have his back lashed, and he knew that he was going to be ridiculed by others and put on the cross. But he says, nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. The will of God for him was more important to him than taking an easier way on this, at this crossroads part of his life. Have you ever considered what would happen if Jesus hadn't surrendered his will to God that day? We would have no saviour. We would have no salvation. Nevertheless, he surrendered his will to the Father and went all the way to Calvary for you and for me. There is something for us to be thankful today as we remember what Jesus has done for us and what he's done for you. Maybe you're listening this morning and you have never accepted Jesus as your saviour. And you realise just what he, the price he paid for you today. It's something to think about to uh, say it's time that I gave my life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because I don't know what tomorrow will bring for me. I don't know if I'm going to be here or I could be thrust out into eternity. And yet today, as we think of it, nevertheless, his will, he wanted his Father's will. God's will uh, may seem rough sometimes for us. It may seem harsh. But my friends, God's will is both good and is acceptable for us. May you know his will for your life today. May there be a thankfulness in your heart that Jesus didn't, didn't stop there in the Garden of Gethsemane, but he says, nevertheless, that thy will will be done. Maybe the hard road for you is ahead, and maybe you realise that even as a Christian, you find it difficult uh, to, 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 to take in what's going around you and how you have to cope with mortgages and, and rent and, 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 and groceries and things to get and even be confined to your home. But think today of what Jesus done. He went the extra for you for this wonderful salvation. Uh, Francis Ridley Havigel said, 
And this I want to finish to leave with you this morning. Once the will of God to me was a sigh. Now it is a song. If God's asking you and he's shown you today with the unsettledness that there is around us and the possible second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ could be imminent, think of today of the will of God for you. What's he asking of you? Maybe he wants you to take that extra step. But be thankful that he did and he paid the price that we would have eternity forever. Lord bless you today. Amen. Lord, I pray that you'll be with each one that's listening to this, uh, focus on this, on this day ahead. I pray that the will of God is both good and perfect. I thank you, Lord, that you went the whole way to the cross that day. I thank you, Lord, that you made that decision, nevertheless, that God's will was more important than not going to the cross. And I thank you, Lord, you paid the price for each one that's listening to this thought today. And I pray, Lord, if they don't know thee, that today they'll bow their head before thee and they'll say, Lord, be merciful to me. Thank you for taking away my sin. And for those of us that are saved, I pray that there'll be a special rejoicing that we have this Savior, that we have this peace, that we have this contentment. We commit each one to thee for this day in Jesus' name. Amen.